Why, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today we're gonna go ahead and give you guys some updates with the Scion Blade Vortex character and I have a lot of information for you guys because I'm really loving this character. So I don't remember <clears throat> exactly where I picked off on the other video, but I want to give you guys some updates as to where I'm at right now and what we've changed. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're using a pledge of hands and our main link set up right now is uh, let's see, Blade Vortex, Increased Critical Strikes, Control Destruction, Fizz to Lightning, and Added Fire. Fizz to Lightning can be swapped around for increased AoE or conk, however you really want to do it. I'm just going to use it as a six link setup for like increased AoE. Now, um, something that I did to kind of make this unique, you know, put my own little polish on it, is what I'm about to show you guys right now. So I have a five link setup for Cast Wind Damage Taken, Blade Vortex, Curse on Hit, in Feeble, you could put any curse you want, and Power Charge on Crit, right? Now, since I am playing a Scion, I have Raider, which allows me to gain Frenzy Charges, like I showed in my previous video. Um, and you have Enduring Cry, or you can use Rallying Cry, it's up to you to gain uh, Endurance Charges, or, you know, the Mono Regen, etc. And my Power Charges comes from Power Charge on Crit, with my, uh, with my other Blade Vortex. Now, the cool interaction here is actually... <clears throat> from your Dodri's Elixir. This is a uh, one fusing or one alchemy orb uh, flask that literally changes your entire build. So, um, the way we have it set up right now is we're also mind over matter with Pledge of Hands, so we're actually at about 7k effective life. This is with a Belly of the Beast on, we're going to be swapping to a Lightning Coil. Uh, I still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 life nodes to allocate. Uh, so we're going to be 6k life with a Coil on, we're currently level 87. And I'm pretty excited for that. I'm actually not cap lightning resist. Don't ask me why I'm 3% off uh, lightning resist cap. But let me show you guys how this interaction works. Ready? So, you know how uh, when you when you play Blade Vortex, basically, right before the uh, right before you get to the boss fight, you'll pop your Vol Haste? Well, normally you would lose your charges, but with this method that I figured out, you will not. So I'm going to show you guys this method right now really fast. All right. The first thing is I want to explain what the Dodri's Elixir does, right? So the Dodri's Elixir, basically when you use it, it's going to do a tiny bit of damage to you, grant you one of every charge, also will also refresh your charges, and it'll deal enough damage to you, which will proc your cast when damage taken, which will force a Blade Vortex, which means you permanently have it up for like Enfeeble and everything else, alright? Now, what I'm also doing is I'm using, um, I'm using Essence Worm, and I've got Hatred inside there, and I have no mana reservation at all, so all of this is pretty much free for Mind Over Matter. I've got Mana Leech on my boots, so that's pretty much where I sustain that from. Alright, let's show you guys the synergy here. Actually, JK, my Hatred's not even on. There you go. Uh, but, up. Oh, okay. Now, my character might seem really slow right now, but the build picks up once you've got max friendly charges because now I have Onslaught on. Uh, when I've got Onslaught on, I can actually Leap Slam pretty quick, and that's pretty much how it starts. Now, you won't really see me rotating too many charges here, just because nothing really does damage to me, but again, I can keep all of this up just with my Dodre's Flask. So, currently, uh, with my current setup right now, and Vol Haste on, we're sitting at 49,000 damage on Blade Vortex. Uh, this is with a level 19 5 link that I'm using. If you want to count Pledge, then it's a 6 link, basically. When I put Conk Effect in, it's going to be pretty huge for bosses. Alright, where is Mr. Vol at? Oh, Vol! Okay, there he is. So, in this scenario... You're going to sit here and spam right before the boss, but normally your charges would run out. JK, you still have your frenzy charges. So let's go find Mr. Vol. Alright, found Vol. Okay. Now let's go show you this in some maps, alright? So I've got a T10 here. Nothing too crazy. It is a Temporal Chains uh, extra two Rouge Exiles. So nothing too insane, but again, it is a T10. And again, I don't feel too comfortable going too high in maps because I would like a Coil, and I would like a Taste of Hate where my Granite is. I'm, per I'm currently running a Bubbling Divine, you can use a Seething if you choose to, uh, with Remove Bleed. A Stib Knight uh, with Curse Immune, because I'm basically always melee, so I figured since I don't have Evasion, Blinding Targets will be really good. Uh, my Dodres, and at Zerius Promise, and again, my Granite, which should be a Taste of Hate. 
So, let me show you guys how it performs in T10 maps. And again, this is a Temp Chains map that we're currently running. I actually haven't fought Merville yet, so I was I was pretty curious to see how Merville would work. I think I think I'll be fine. But we'll see here very shortly. Tem Chains maps are actually a joke to run because it doubles the duration of all your buffs, including your blade vortex and your fortify. So it is very easy to keep 100% uptime on everything. Not to mention it does not slow down your animation time for leap slam. So your leap slam is is really 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 godly. I like malformation. Is this Igna Phoenix? Igna, where are you going? Oh, JK? More like Igna JK, boys. I'm super stoked for this character. Uh, I, I do kind of want to push it to like a little bit in the mid 90s so I can get I can get the rest of my uh, the rest of my life nodes along with a coil. I think a coil would be pretty insane for how much damage I would get off of it. And I'm also curious to try out some links. I was thinking of dropping added fire for poison and just seeing how that would work. I don't think it's going to be too good, but um, it would help me out with elemental reflect. I don't really have any issues with alley reflect. I'll show you. I saw an alley reflect necro down there. Uh, but in party play, if you're running with, you know, aura bots and stuff, and, you know, dedicated cursors, it could potentially be an issue. But solo, I have absolutely no no troubles. These are bears. I'm going to be a little careful here. Just a little careful. There we go. We're good. Let's get some ball haste action going. What is this density? There's like no mobs. Like what? There's like no mobs anywhere. Oh, that hit hard, whatever that was. Extra cold damage, powerful crits, extra fizz damage. A little YOLO there. Oh, rip Magnus. Not gonna lie, that had the potential to be really, really bad with Mr. Magnus. <laughs> oh, my frenzies ran out? Shit, I wasn't paying attention. I'm still not used to rotating this flask, but it is it is so insane just keeping up everything with it. Alright, so there's the boss, but I do want to have full frenzy charges before I fight her, so let's see if I can get some charges. Oh my god, please. Please, game. Please. No, what are these dead ends? No. Alright, we're going to hit the flask now. Alright, here we go, here we go. Now we, we can demonstrate now. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Come on, come on, come on. All right, here we go, here we go. Ready? Whee! All right, boys, so that's... That's a deeps comparison there for you. Does she have two phases? Oh, JK, she does. Whee! Mm. 
Village Ruin. You guys tell me what you think of the build in the comments below. Uh, I think it is definitely one of the stronger builds that I've created, and I'm very, very happy with it as of right now. Um, I think that this build would go great with a support as well, since you're playing a melee character, and I would, like, literally my aura bot could run Blasphemy and then Quad Curse. You know, Elemental Weakness, Assassin's Mark. Let's see, Elemental Weakness, Assassin's Mark, Temp Chains, Vulnerability, or Temp, sorry, Temp Chains, and Feeble. Alright, so here's the Ellie Reflect. I'm just gonna go complete ham on it, alright? There you go, I'm gonna stand right in his face. You see, my mana's not even going down, a mind over matter. So, as long as you have your Adziri's Promise up, you're good. Fizz Reflect is, Fizz Reflect's not really too much of an issue at all. Um, when you're in the beginning stages, it might hurt you a bit, so just use a Granite. If you're using Fizz to Lightning, it doesn't do anything to you at all. Like, you could just sit in it. It does nothing, really nothing. A George! Oh my god, a George, boys. We are good to go. I'm sorry, we're under 100 mil EXP per hour, so this build is not a uh, hardcore viable couple. Alright, boys, so that's pretty much going to be the character. Um, let's talk about some changes I did to the tree. I literally didn't actually pull out of anything. Um, I did say I was going to come up across this side. Unfortunately, I don't really have the points to spend right now. So the only thing that I did is I dropped out of Scion AoE, um, and then I dropped out of this section right here with Deep Thoughts and Cruel Preparation. And instead, I just went right through here to get the Deeps to pick up 4 Shaper and Doomcast. We're like 54% crit rate with charges up, and again, I'm really loving the build. We've got so much sustain. Uh, just to give you guys an example of how much I leech with Volpack, I'll try to take some damage here for you. And then we'll uh, super leech it back up. Nope, oh, JK. Uh, let's make a new one. I also do run Vol Grace. Um, just for the sake of, like, you know, whenever you're jumping in, like, Piranus packs, uh, Vol Haste is really, really nice. Alright, so that's, like, that's, like, perfect right there, yeah? Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Alright, good thing I'm almost full HP. And that's Vol Pack for you, boys. And that was, I think that was without Frenzy Charges, too. It's just overall a really, really fun and enjoyable build. Uh, you're pretty much immune to all white monsters because they get frozen. Uh, you could throw in a Vol Lightning Trap too. That's what I wanted to do for some extra single target. I think Vol Lightning Trap would be pretty cool. You could run around with a Vinctors too. I don't really know how to throw in Vinctors, but Vinctors would be pretty nice. Uh, it's just the flask setup gets a little difficult depending on how many things you're using. Because, I mean, I'm already running on one Life Flask. And to me, that's really sketchy. I'm not used to running with one Life Flask. I usually use three. So this was definitely a, a new thing for me, playing out with Ball Packs. Anyways, if you guys have any information or any <clears throat> questions you guys want to know, remember to check out my stream at twitch.tv slash pox, and remember to just type exclamation mark profile to see all of my character's gear, links, skill tree, and etc. Because I guess I've got a shitty planner and every time I link it, it's bugged. So I'm just going to tell you guys to just go there and you can see everything up to date on the Twitch link. Anyway, I am out, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.